I trust you celebrated most heartily. Curious. I wonder if the tadpole shares in your suffering the morning after. If, uh, speaking of tadpoles, you promised to help me. I did. And it's high time we talked about your problem. There's some cause for hope, but it's complicated. Isn't everything? Go on, out with it. Some form of magic is arresting the seromorphosis process, while still granting you certain benefits. Your ability to read each other's thoughts, for instance. You said little I couldn't figure out for myself so far. And yet here you are, desperate for help. Hold your tongue until I'm done. Magic such as this doesn't arise naturally. Someone is pulling the strings, someone of great power. If you wish to cure your infection, you must find them. These absolute wretches are rallied at Moonrise Towers, farther along the Chionthar. Whoever is behind this magic must be there. You must go there. The journey will be perilous, but it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Moonrise Towers it is. I'd better make haste. Wait, there's more you need to know. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place, a cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Sounds like I've got no choice. I need to find a way through. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or cutting through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel leading from the Temple of Saluna right down into the Underdark and beyond. The entrance is hidden somewhere in the Temple Ruins. Aradin and his lot thought they'd find fortune down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm managed to rally a whole army of Dark Justices in a secret stronghold deep in the Underdark. Dark Justicius? I must see for myself. From there, his forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers in secret. But Ketherick was defeated before he could launch an attack from the Underdark. Ketherick took his secrets with him to the grave. You'd need a veritable underground city to conceal the force he mastered. Yet none has ever been found. If you find it, I'll wager it'll reveal a route all the way to Moonrise Towers, bypassing the worst of the Shadow Curse. I thought I'd say this, but it sounds like the Underdark is the safer route. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Unfinished. Let's go pieces. then. It seems our fates have aligned. I advise you start in the Temple of Saluna. If you find the Dark Justicia's hidden entrance, it could lead you all the way to Moonrise. May Sylvanas guide us. Ah, now, before it starts... Good evening to you. I take it you're here to pick me up on that bedtime story you were promised. Deactivate and activate, and let's hope that this gives us a little bit of good time with, uh, you know, the actual sound. Exactly so. Marvelous. 
It's a story full of answers long overdue. It is the story of a man who fell in love with a goddess. Thursday, you're talking about yourself, you know. I know, but a bit of narrative distance will make it so much easier in the telling. Indulge me. Suppose you've earned some indulgence. Go ahead and tell me your story. Thank you. Once upon a time, not quite that long ago, there lived a wizard in a tower. The wizard was what one might call a prodigy, who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it like a musician or a poet. Such was his skill that it earned him the attention of the mother of magic herself, the Lady of Mysteries, Mistra. What did Mistra's attention feel like? Love. Perhaps it was not quite love, but you see, the wizard was but a very young man. It was most certainly love to him. Mistra showed him the secrets beneath the veils. The gossamer veils first, draped across the weave. The delicate veils next, draped across her body. Chosen one, she whispered. She slipped them off completely. You tell me the wizard made love to a goddess. Yes, until one day, all too soon, the whispers stopped. The goddess spurned the mortal. The veils were drawn once more, and the wizard was left behind, heartbroken. What happened next? Like so many of the heartbroken, he did something infinitely foolish. One has to think big if one seeks to win back a goddess. So the wizard thought big. Find big. Here goes. Once upon a time, very long ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his story for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic unleashed that day was phenomenal, rolling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. A fragment of it was caught and sealed away in a book. No ordinary book, mind you. A tome of gateways that contained within it a bubble of astral plane. It was a fragment of primal weave locked out of time, locked away from Mistra herself. What if, the silly wizard thought, what if after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? What was the answer to his question? The answer was to try, and the outcome was to fail. Here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound, then suddenly opened. Inside, there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through you and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Are you still alive? Of all things, magic. This netherese taint, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest, and it needs to be fed. As long as it absorbs weave, it remains stable, to an extent. The moment it becomes unstable, however. It will die, obviously. Rather worse, actually. It will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, It'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Is 
Sorry, that's a horrible burden to bear. It is my truth, finally revealed. It is this folly that led Mistra to abandon me completely. I can only hope that you won't abandon me as well. After all we've been through, surely we can brave even this side by side. Yes, side by side it is. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. It is an honor to call you a friend. Many challenges lie ahead, but in this moment, I believe nothing to be insurmountable. What do you say? Should we call it a night? Or do you have questions for me? What would permanently rid you of the orb? The orb was kept safe and inert in a pocket of astral planes suspended in time. If I can somehow manage to expel it from my body while in the astral plane, it will be rendered inert again. Alternatively, I could learn to control its chaotic magic. That is, to succeed where I failed before. But without Mistress' favor, I don't see how that may come to pass. Of course, there could be different answers as well. Faerun brims with more magic than any one wizard could fathom, let alone comprehend. Who knows what outlandish solutions may yet present themselves. Gail, yeah, are you still in love with Mistra? I'll be honest with you. I don't know. She's my muse still, an embodiment of magic. But the embodiment of love? Only if we ever meet again will I know. Let's call it a night. Good night, then. And thank you. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? He seemed intrigued when Halson mentioned Dark Justicars before. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. Speak. You're worried we haven't changed? This is good news? Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. These empty sheets are all that's left for, of you. The last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I'm humbled to know there's something I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. There we go. Okay, what skip, skip, easy, skip, these skip. And Persuasion's as what I said before. Tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this? Of course. Help us. Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. Do not he begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting detect thoughts. This time we actually ended up stopping him. <laughs> Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. He's a fucking dragon. I wouldn't intimidate. Gotta just leave. You've no right to decide my fate. Okay, we failed that, obviously. I no, intimidate isn't what I, I do. Am strong. You are weak. Forever show this worm its place. I need to continue my hunt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no manga. I don't got plot armor. <laughs> okay, now I just need me to survive. And if I don't, then that's fine. Yeah, there we go. See, so instant finish. And right, there we go. 
There we go. Okay, got them all. There we go. Okay, so as long as he's fine, that that's fine down there. They'll actually distract him too. Did it just skip over my turn? Oh, you bitch. It did. At least there's a fuck ton of melee here. Oh, never mind. They're, they ran out. Shit! Are you kidding me? Called oh, main character armor. And I'm pretty sure silence means I can't use any magic in here, too. But it's okay. It's okay. Give me my turn, you piece of shits! I'm not actually going to be able to fight here, but I want to get to a push range. Actually, can I go back and there we go. Oh, you're lucky, bitch. You're lucky. Just two more steps. Who am I, who am I moving right now? Okay, I can't do anything with that, obviously. So yeah, over here, let them move. They're gonna climb up this ladder. Oh shit, look at, man. At least they hurt themselves too. I'm gonna try to go for the throat, bro. I'm gonna try to push. Yeah, that's what I thought. Actually, wait. Bonus action. Do this, come on. Pray to the thunder god! Why did you shoot the other way? It was aiming this way, but that's okay. Now these guys are gonna run all the way around. Hopefully, hopefully we have enough time to push these guys. Oh no, they use misstep. Oh, he tried to put asleep. Healed. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Woo! Boom, bitch! Okay, that's a raider. That's the archer, I think. Oh shit. No, no, I wanted to use the other per- Damn it. Ooh, damn. That, that was a scary thing. Oh, you should have misstepped up here, bitch! Okay, let's- let's try. I'll risk it. Nice, nice, we got it. We're doing good so far, fool. Oh, uh, this guy, Sarah, Sarah's gonna come up and fucking wreck our booty hole. Right from behind. I need this vampire to stay alive. Ooh! 
Missed, but I still took damage. Take your I don't know. Maybe I didn't select him. I don't know. Max level in the game is four. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. Fucking right. Oh yeah, that's pretty sick. Maybe something went around. Like I said, I could have been something I didn't select. I've been just power playing like for the past couple days since it's been out. Nice. Sorry, get closer, bitch. Damn, only did two. What shit? Like I slipped on blood. I have to run all the way back up. I, I like how they're all melee, except for that one right there. It's Yankee Gish. We have nothing to fear. Take you. What do you mean? Hello. What do you mean? Are you talking about the audio delay? Because I'm already well aware of that. That's the game. At, like after like 20 hours in, the game like fucked up and just hasn't fixed and I am not fixing it no I'm already well aware of that that's the game At, like after like 20 hours in the game like fucked up and just hasn't fixed and I am not fixing it no I'm already well aware of that that's the game can you just tell me what it is cuz I'm not seeing anything out of here bro Yeah, that didn't save.
What giant thing covering my screen? I, I don't see anything on my stream. Everything looks fine. Have you tried refreshing? I, I think it's dead, bro. I, I literally have it up pulled up on my other... Uh, one, one second, I'm going to refresh my tab. Maybe I'll see something then. Like, I have it pulled up right next to me on a different computer and on a monitor so I can see the chat. Oh, it's on you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I have that enabled. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're making me worried, bro. <laughs> Scared me. I thought something was wrong with it. God, finally! Now we gotta go get my character. <laughs> Law armor has come back to life. Like, I'm literally at the end of the e EA, like, there's few things I have to do, or can do right now, right? And one of them is fight the Spider Queen. Um, two Minotaurs that are dicks and I hate them. I think that's it. A fine evening. A peaceful sky above, and nature's nighttime music all around. I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me, and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. The shadow curse you spoke of, surely it can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. What about the grove? Will it be safe without you? Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid. Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. Who? Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Won't this cause resentment? Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Why do you want to go to the Moonrise Towers? The Shadow Curse. It's an affront to nature and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund's dark justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse, just as you find a cure for your infection. Seems like you feel responsible for this shadow curse somehow. Well, 
There's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Is that why you went with Aridin? You thought you might find this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Bing bong 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 bong. Board and sail into the darkness. Gek's raft. Where's Gek? Who are you? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. I have not Authority. used it once and I still won't. Saw a body left by the Mechanids. You Gek must be dead. Hope we can lie. Woo! Sergeant will be pissed about her boots. Come on, let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. As you cross the dark water, you remember your capture and infection, your harrowing escape from hell, and the constant threat of becoming a mind flayer yourself. Your search for a healer brought you to a druid's grove, and the refugees sheltering there. You remember their gratitude when you stood by them. One evening, a devil came courting, Insisting that a cure was impossible. He said he'd come again. Soon enough. Your reverie is interrupted by an underground fortress appearing in front of you. The symbol of the absolute is clear. Even in the dark. You need answers. What game are the Mind Flayers playing? Is there even a cure? What are they doing at Moonrise Towers? And why are they looking for you? Amid this flurry of questions, you feel something else deep inside you. A hunger. A lust for blood. Soon. So, I want you to clean up all of this, okay? Gargoyle with a good curse over there. Explosive, explosive, and then over the... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the end of the early access content. We are still under development behind me here, so you can't go through. But congratulations, very well done on getting here. 
and in the name of everybody at Larian Studios, I would like to thank you for supporting us in early access. Now, uh, we take community feedback very seriously, so I would like to invite you to go to our community forums or go to the review pages on the store where you bought the game and let us know what you thought of your experience so that we can learn from it and use it to improve hey, the game. Hey, quit your let's get going. Uh, all right, so I gotta go back together with this man here, continue to develop the game, but see you soon, because we'll have much more content for you right. as we continue to integrate feedback and support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to sing the song, right? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, let's do it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the lane. Oh, that was a journey. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, uh, when you guys finally get to this part, I may have already started working on the Baldur's Gate 3 Spider Queen fight, uh, if I do in fact do it. Uh, if not, then that's the only thing left I have to do, that I can do in the early access. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna release, I don't know, something. If, if not, if I don't just release the, uh, parts for this from start to finish of the early access, which, I mean, if you're watching it now, then you know that I did release all of the parts from beginning to end. Uh, I apologize for all of the cuts, all of the issues that were for it. I mean, I, there's, no, there's not really much I could have done about it. It was completely out of my hands for the majority of it, like 99% of all the issues. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed the series. If you guys are excited for the full release gameplay series, which I will be starting from the very beginning and for it, even if we don't have to, because I'm pretty sure it might force you to, no matter what, I will be because I want to experience the story as it should be. I want to experience the game as it should be with all these bugs gone, all these nasty, horrible bugs gone everything working perfectly and i i do i really hope so by at the at least a year which i think will be like a year and a half maybe two before we see it if it does hit a year then i mean fine but i think it, during this time we should be able to see it finished and it should be in a playable state way better than what we're seeing in early access because while it was a blast while it was fun the bugs were not fun and there was a lot of issues uh i'm rambling Overall, I really enjoyed my time with the game, and I 100% recommend getting the game in early access just to see about where it came from to where it is at release, and then it was, like I said, it was fun. I think you'll enjoy it. The only thing that I, I want to leave this whole entire uh, early access series off and something that I hope gets mentioned or fixed or righted in the full release is the whole why. Like, I get how, why we'd want to find a healer to get the tadpole out. That is great. That, it, like, fuels our story. But why would we go do all of the other extra stuff? Why would we spend so much extra time there? It wouldn't make sense with uh, such a pressing danger. And I constantly found myself asking, well, myself that question. And I wanted to do it personally because, one, I thought I could level up past level four, but you couldn't, and I didn't know until the end. And two, because I just wanted to see what I had to offer. But story-wise and roleplay-wise, I kept like feeling like I wasn't really roleplaying correctly. Because if I was being true to myself, I would have just worried about you know not dying and doing things as fast as possible that would succeed at getting this tadpole out. But anyways, guys, feel free to leave comments below about your playthrough, about my playthrough, about the bugs you've encountered, and just you know your hopes for the game. I'll see you guys next time. I'm sorry for my rambling. But, I mean, if you made it this far, then I, I guess I deserve to ramble a little bit at the end of the game. I'll catch you guys later. It's been fun.